There was this instance of a meteorologist who started a new job in New York City at a hedge fund. He made one trade and retired. This trade was worth millions in profit. And it was based off of long range weather signals that he was able then to convert into understanding what the price movement in natural gas would be. NCEI provides um, all of our information free to, especially to this new value added weather industry that's been developing. Um, that weather industry today is a seven billion dollar industry. And what they're doing is, think of it like this, it, they're third party providers that are adding value added to information, so tailored information to their customers based on our information. The weather company is literally the largest commercial weather company in the world. We started as the Weather Channel, um, but about seven years ago we basically retooled the company to move from being a, a media company that also had data to becoming a, primarily a data and an analytics company that also had media. Um, so we rebranded the company as the Weather Company and we, we created uh, our own bespoke weather forecasts using underlying NOAA data and NCI data. Third-party weather providers that do forensic meteorology, for example, um, use our data every day, uh, especially when they're looking at uh, legal cases, health storms, extreme events, um, even policemen who are looking at, say, a murder case and they want to know what the conditions were for that evening or that day that something would have uh, happened, accident investigators, uh, all those type of forensics uh, need an authoritative source um, and they come to us all the time for that information. Third-party providers are looking at wind data, historic wind data, uh, to help some retailers look at when is the next big windstorm, you know, probabilistically saying when is the next windstorm coming through uh, to protect shopping carts from flying around parking lots, for example. Or we have some major energy providers uh, also looking at what's the likelihood of weather happening, severe storms happening at this particular time, in this particular season, uh, and for how long. Natural gas and power is traded like any other commodity in the market. So our, our clients are interested in short range, which is power traders, or long range weather prediction, which is uh, natural gas. So we have two different ways that we utilize the NCI data uh, in the energy division. Uh, the first is to essentially take a raw model forecast field, like as temperature, and convert it into a departure from normal. Our clients are very interested in what the difference of, uh, from normal is for a particular forecast. We also use NCI's data uh, to give a, a crude approximation of observations in real time. So for example, we have some very weather savvy clients. They might want to uh, want to know what the wind field in the lower troposphere is doing over the Pacific and near the equator. If our observational data set of lower tropospheric winds over the Pacific Ocean is showing enhancement of westerly winds, they can infer there's a higher probability of El Nino to develop, which then impacts the pattern at you know, the following winter. And this can, they can use that type of information to say, hey, the winter might be warmer than normal based off of this observations of enhanced westerlies over the Pacific. So they can use that information to make a position in the natural gas market. Well, the weather company obviously is a, a major publisher of, of weather and science content. And obviously, the baseline for that data is data that comes from, the, from NCEI and NOAA. It's the baseline data that, that, that's used to sort of tell stories, to, to explain um, when a big event is going to happen, you know, how, how much of an impact that's going to be compared to normal. They're adding context to extreme weather or you know, past climate events to the general public in ways that we would never be able to do and reach the masses. We have the world's largest archive of over 30 petabytes of data. If you, if you take your average smartphone, it's got about 120 gigabytes of data. If you were to lay those cell phones side by side along an American football field, it would be 60 football fields long. That's 30 petabytes of data. That's a lot of data. 
As a data nerd, if I didn't have access to NCI uh, information, it would be very complicated in, in for me to reproduce the things that I do today. I find the data from NCI extremely valuable, specifically the, the CFS v2 subseasonal model. I mean, if we did not have this model, it would, it would hurt our, our forecast skill. For the archives uh, system, we find it extremely uh, convenient to go in and pull data off of the NCI servers uh, as, as a backup to our, our archive that we run here. With a lot of things uh, that, that we use at the weather company, and the NOAA data is a foundational tool to what we're doing. People are much more interested in historical climate and weather information today than ever before. Primarily because of the impacts that we see that weather is having on our day-to-day -day lives. We believe that the NCEI's business model of providing full and open access of all of our archives to third-party weather providers has actually helped enable build this industry.